One of the things I like to do is called the ball screen definite dozen. I played for Pat Summit, so mm-hmm. I had to keep the definite dozen in there. Um, and so it's uh, basically um, three schemes. Uh, the most common schemes that we'll see would be drop coverage, ice or down, and then switch. So three different schemes that defense can do. And then in those schemes, so first one is drop coverage, six different ways to attack it. So the first one is um, the hostage or the chair. Um, So as you see, the four is coming over to set a ball screen for the one. And the one hesitates, and it's a hostage dribble, and then uh, goes into a side step back jumper. Um, The second one, and do this on both sides. And it's optimal if you can have a coach to pass it, a practice player to defend, and then one to screen and one to rebound. I know not everyone has that luxury, so you might have to adjust, but that is uh, the most ideal way to do this. It takes about 30 minutes to do all three of these schemes um, and 12 shots per scheme. So the second one is a snake. Obviously, come off the the screen, immediately snake right off the screener's back um, and get get – space and cover distance for 15 to 17 foot jumper a lot of times that's the easiest way to get to a short corner jumper is because the rotation has to come all the way outside the lane um third one is a pocket pass a lot of times the four will banana um banana cut off this roll to give more space but a pocket pass one's coming off and this diagram would use their left hand um because it's short and quick after a dribble off the screen to pass to the big uh, rolling to the on the short roll. And we always like to give the this is the guard workout. I have a whole forward um, screening workout, too. But this one is just the guards and they would rotate to the to the top of the key to get a shot. So there are six shots right there. And now because um, you do it on one on both sides. Next one is a snake to a corner three. So um, this is kind of a horns action. One comes off the screen, snakes it. Obviously, defender's going over the top. Um, X2 tags the roller, and so X2 is open in the corner, so they quick stop, fire it on time on target to the two, and then relocate to the top of the key for a shot. The middle diagram is um, reject the screen, get to the uh, drive and a drift, so working on that pass on time on target with some speed, um, two drifting to the corner. They would relocate to the, the closest corner to get a shot. The sixth one is to reject the screen. So X1 jumped early over the top. And so they're rejecting the screen and then um, they're getting into a pro hop um, to the middle to the middle of the court, um, coming off two feet, getting off the floor quick. So that's the first series. Second, and I should have said this at the beginning, one of the things I think is, fun- is fundamental to, uh, to ball screens is for the guard is the setup the read the scheme and then punish the help. And all of this happens within one or two seconds. So I think a lot of reps and a lot of different actions, um, you know, it's important to rep this, um, what you're trying to get out of it. But this is a second scheme. So all of those were drop scheme. This one is ice or down. So they're trying to not let them use the screen on the side of the floor. <laughs> the first one is just to um, set it up and then get to a two foot finish against the five. You know, if the ice or down coverage X5 should be between them and the basket if they're in the correct position. And so you're just attacking the big um, off the bounce for two strong two foot finish. The second one, the middle diagram is um, you're attacking the big, but getting away, getting into space for a step back jumper into the short corner dunker spot. Um, The third one, is um, a snake to the free throw line. So X5 is a little bit in this, in the third diagram would be too far back would be the read. And so one is gonna snake and get to a jumper at the foul line. Again, you do all of these on both sides of the court. So right now we have six shots. Next one is a um, pick and pop. So X5, you're getting two people to guard you here on this left diagram. And then you're you're working on that over the head pass or even behind the back pass, depending on the skill level of the of the guard, and then relocating to the corner for for a shot. Um, 
please stop me if none of, if something doesn't make sense or I need to slow down. Um, please. So far, so good. Yeah, so okay, far. good. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, the second one, the middle diagram is, um, uh, one is faking a snake. So it's the same, same, uh, same read as they're as if they're snaking and get to a free throw line jumper but now the big you're getting the big in rotation and on their heels so now you're gonna attack the big and finish probably two foot finish over the big um the third one is you fake the snake and now x3 helps and so you've got a quick stop fire it to the corner for a three all right so th that's 12 shots for ice or down coverage and i researched this by um, going over the most, the shots um, taken for guards, mm -hmm. uh, what are the most taken shots off of ball screens? And this is what we come up with, um, what I come up with. Switch coverage. So now X5 is switching off of the one. So um, set up, read the scheme, punish the help again. So now the scheme is they're switching. So now one's just going right at X5 and get to a jumper. The second one, the middle one, is they, they go off the screen initially, get the switch, and now go between the legs or um, or cross over hard to get the five rolls to the rim. And now you're passing to, um, to the five. So you're working on that post feed and getting in the right angle so you can see their numbers so there's not a turnover. Um, and then relocating for a shot. <clears throat> it's an inside out shot. <clears throat> the last one on this page is a step a step up a lot of times I didn't mention that in the ice a lot of times when when defenders are icing a lot of times x5 will will switch their or not x5 sorry the screener will switch their angle and the NBA and W is getting to this um, angle is huge you know for for the screener and so if they're icing it uh, it becomes a step up so they'll just pivot so it becomes a step up just like this and they get downhill quick. Um, let's see, so last last six shots are um, drive drive the big into a step back. So on the left side, we just go on right at X5 into a step back jumper. The middle is you get the you get the switch, you back it off, and then you tack, you attack the big. A lot of times to so pull up, it could be a blow by depending on what the other three players are doing on the court and the spacing. But that's um, a good option. The last one is just a Nash dribble. I think this is a lot. I think I think guards in general need to have this, um, especially um, grassroots and, and college, and even a lot of pros. I think our players got better at this as the season went on. But not forcing a decision when you get in the lane. If you don't have anything great, you can dribble it out. And this is the last diagram here. You see a late roll. Uh, working on the Nash dribble, I think he did it the best, Steve Nash. Um, and so that is the ball screen, definite dozen.